grabbed it like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP. All my network partners over at Fox 5 and Y. And all of the subscribers and folks that rock with what we got going on here. Salute to y'all. You know what I'm saying? We about to head into December. It's been a great year. One of my dopest years, you know what I'm saying? We did a lot. We hosted some events. Uh, Max out Chrome. We got another joint coming up. I got booked for another joint last night. Uh, Fox News. You know, this has been like if I told myself in January that this is how this year would be, I would have never knew it. You know what I'm saying? More paper does equal more haters. Salute to the bootleg compromise media gang. You know what I'm saying? Y'all try. You try. The good. niggas that the niggas that's winning don't talk. They want to see you win. They don't talk. And even if they don't want to see you win, they're busy winning. Yeah. Only way I'm sitting on space is 14 hours talking about a nigga and I'm not promoting something to put some if I don't got nothing to do. I you tried. Shout out to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't knocking you. Long live Pat State. The thing that kills me is I never seen this shit before. Niggas who really stole money from Pat State's family, rest in peace, uh, were on camera for hours talking about me. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. <laughs> you can't throw dirt with a shovel in your trunk, my nigga. Y'all niggas got, y'all niggas is crazy. Salute to y'all. I got nothing else to say. Let, let it happen. Just let it happen. Zoop, zoop. We got nothing. We got nothing. We got nothing. You know what I'm saying? They said, what is that? Vada got a show on Fox. So it had to be through the government. These niggas said, y'all niggas will listen to this shit too. But shout out to everybody who knew they was on some fuckery. Moving along. Mike P. Shout out to Mike P, man. I said this before and I still respect it and I still uh, give props to it. Uh, took control of his own career. Took control of his own career, got off URL, and it's happened one of the best years of his career. I know they'll probably paint it like his name is not this. His, na his name is rising. His name is rising. He got Loso coming up. He had Rosenberg Raw. Why is easy to. <laughs> Shout out to Easy. Shout out to Easy. Easy to block captain is better to do do better with a nigga career than the league he was on. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. He definitely is. No show and Rosenberg Raw, boom boom, are helping rise Mike P's name. But Mike P was involved in the Call of Duty tournament. You know what I'm saying? He had a live stream. He was promoting it. And I definitely said something about it before. I retweeted it last night, and I definitely tweeted to congratulate him and his team for winning hundred and fifty thousand dollars. He wouldn't have won that hundred fifty thousand if he was still. Never mind. You gotta get off death row records, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see what's happening for Mike P. Salute to him, salute to Ashley, his wife, salute to his kids and everything that is some dope, dope, dope shit. And I know that we in an era where, you know, the messy shit and the drama and, you know, these lame niggas that take shots at you get more attention than the good stuff. But, sure. but you're not making a big deal about it this year because shit's going good, right? So write some positive shit. I just asked you a question. And I'm giving you a fucking answer. <laughs> like, I'm, you guys, you know, there's all right to write positive stuff. People will read your positive shit. <laughs> you don't always have to be negative, right? Like, it's, it's just the world's already negative enough, right? So let's see some positive stuff on some positive people that are playing, doing their job on a nightly basis. Make it a lot easier to do that this year. Well, uh, we're only into this year. We can't go back to last year, right? Like, that's the fucking problem. Have a good night. I'm going to be the one, if not anybody else, salute to everybody else who does, that's going to promote and that's going to salute Mike P for bouncing back, for turning his career around, taking his shit in his own hand, dealing with the hate. How do I know? I deal with it every day. So you, like, to see what you've done, to, to get your career where it's going, and now you don't won this tournament, and who knows what's next to you. You got Battle with Loso coming up, and who knows, sky's the limit. Shout out to Mike P, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's doing great. That is that is phenomenal. Now, <laughs> and um, another thing I wanted to highlight and um, talk to y'all about was uh, Hitman Holler. Uh, make sure that you go watch Hitman Holler's show 
with Nick Cannon, you know what I'm saying? He has a dope, dope, dope documentary style show that's with uh, Nick Cannon, and I'm pulling up the name of it so I can, uh, so I can really get y'all in tune with what he got going on because I think it's dope. Uh, I watched some of it today. Uh, and he's got a VH1 show, you know what I'm saying? He's got a uh, Future Superstars. It's a VH1 show. It says, when they say well-protected and well-respected, Hitman Holler opens up about a traumatic home invasion on his new episode of Future Superstars tonight at 9. It, was, it came on last night, and I thought it was a dope look. He was talking about... I moved out of St. Louis to, a, to escape a certain kind of life. The home invasion, the trauma, the things that he went through. And shout out to Hitman Holly, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did see Hitman at Max Out, you know what I'm saying? He battled against Ill Will. Uh, I did do one of the judging for the performances. Now, you know, they call me to do shit like that. You know, they're hating ass niggas. They don't call, they don't call them niggas. They do not. You niggas ain't hosting no big stage, big name shit. The nerve of you. <laughs> you That's know, like disrespect. It. Chrome, RBE, you are y'all niggas, they call y'all niggas. Y'all niggas ain't gonna call. Sorry, no, we don't wanna hear you niggas. No, no, no. They'll be home stealing it. Anyway, so uh he uh he he was at the um he was at the Max Out joint, his girl was there, um, and to see them open up about what had happened, because I used to always think like I ain't, you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna go too far into it, you know what I'm saying? You could watch the joint future superstars, cause I feel like Hitman is a superstar. Um he had to explain what it was like. Imagine you being in Kansas City and your girl is in Atlanta and something like that happens and you have to try to get back home. He couldn't even fly out that night. I'm sure he didn't sleep. I'm sure he didn't eat. Having to get on a plane, fly across the country to find out that some uh, traumatic experience had happened. So, you know, future superstars, check it out. Hitman Holla, shout out to Nick Cannon, shout out to everything Hitman's got going on. Um, now let's get to the bullshit. <laughs> You know, positivity still works though. I'm letting y'all niggas know. Hey, hating ass niggas. You can talk about positivity and people will still watch it. They will, I promise you. You can talk about some positive shit and niggas will watch. You don't always have to hate me, you know what I'm saying, to, to get some views. I seen y'all niggas views too. Y'all niggas views is in the dirt. Niggas got 600 view joints, 500 view joints, a 3,000 view joint with Jazz. Nigga got Jazz and got 3,000. I interview Jazz the rapper next week. See what we do. We gonna, we gonna leave. <laughs> anyway. Um... So, Stamp. Stamp, Stamp, Stamp. Let's move along. Shout out to Verb and everything he's got going on. Stamp, bro. You got yourself lined up something crazy yesterday. Like, what do you, what, what, what do y'all niggas be thinking about? And I got the K-Shine shit being banned from URL events at the end. I want to throw it all in one, you know what I'm saying? Let's get the job done, throw it all in one. Um, he, Stamp, 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 Stamp. Where's Stamp at? This is the same Stamp that uh, had gotten to the shit with, uh, Coffee Brown with Miss Miami, when Miss Miami was trying to disrespect the flag and Coffee stepped to her and she was West Stamp back. You know, y'all know the nigga, right? He the same one that was defending the white boy when the white boy said the N-word, William Wolf, and the dude stole on him. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry, I'll put that clip in here. I, I don't use like, I'll go get that one though. This what else? Big tragic at the end. David Blaine, Holy Field, so I got magic in these hands, man. Right? I ain't like these other battle rappers, they talk too much. I can't use that word in this battle. My name. I just caught you. The white, the dude stole on the white boy, and he was the one that jumped in front of the white boy, trying to hold him. Down. Oh, weird shit, right? And then he got poked at an event. You know what I'm saying? Another joint. I forgot what event it was, but he definitely got stabbed at an event too. So he ain't been really having a lot of good, you know what I'm saying, juju in the battle rap shit. But anyway, and he battles too. But I don't. I never really seen none of his battles. But anyway. Um, he jumped out his body yesterday and made a statement about Verb saying Verb was begging Shotgun Shook for half of the money with That's a fact. I saw it. And I told Shotgun don't get it to that nigga. That's a fact. That, 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 that tell him, that tell Verb to say I'm lying. Tell Verb to say I'm lying. That's a fact. I saw it. I was there. Right there. I saw the whole thing. I was there. Jeez, Verb was begging. Was was, he was begging Shook right for half? He begged him, he begged him for half. Shotgun didn't give him half though. Jeez. I was there. Like, you can't deny it. He said, I was there. So if he, 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 Battle, Verb vs. Shotgun Shook battle. It was a sponsored battle. Uh, it was paid for, you know what I'm saying? It was $10,000 put up. The money was given to Verb. 
Verb had the money. Stamp out of nowhere. I don't even know what the fuck this shit came. Where did this shit come from? Who compels this nigga to say some blasphemous bullshit like that? He comes out of nowhere and says Verb was begging Shotgun Suge for the money. Even if he, <laughs> even if he was, let's just say I, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Now they speculate. Nowadays the nigga's sources will be trust me, bro. You seen what them bitch ass niggas did yesterday? So trust me, right? So he uh. I don't even know where Stamp got this shit. Stamp goes online on, on the free internet and says, uh, Verb was begging for the money. And even if, this, I don't believe that was the case, but even if that was, why would you say that? Like, why would you, when you got so many open flaws and shit that didn't happen to you, why would you talk about somebody else? It's the same shit I say about the bootleg boy. You got so much shit on you, why would you ever think to talk about nobody else? I don't talk about y'all. So anyway, um, these niggas, <laughs> this nigga says Verb was begging for the money. You know this is gonna get to him. It got to him and he went crazy on you for like 30 minutes. You got the nerve to get on the camera and you ain't got no motherfucking teeth talking about a God. You ain't got no motherfucking teeth, nigga. You ain't got a mother, nigga, you can't have a graham cracker. You can't have a graham cracker house on Christmas, nigga. Fuck is you talking about I'm begging for the money and I bought the money. Nigga, I am the money round this motherfucker, weird ass nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Niggas don't give me help, nigga. I give the help, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Mouth ass nigga on camera. And then you had the nerve to shoot it from a down angle like we can't see the top of your motherfucking mouth. You little roofy mouth ass nigga. Playing with me, nigga, you don't fucking know me. How the fuck you gonna tell me what the fuck I said? I said, ask Suge, did I say it? I'm not asking Suge. The fuck is wrong with you, nigga? You ain't had an apple since you was six, you weird ass nigga. You better stop fucking playing with gods, nigga. Called you into the spaces, called Suge into the spaces. You said you ain't know no shotgun Suge. You said you ain't know no shotgun Suge back there. That nigga pulled the trick trick on you, nigga. You said that Suge said that shit. Suge was in the space, this nigga was in the space, this nigga jammed up like a, oh my god, bro. This nigga jammed up like a high point. This nigga jammed, bro. This nigga jammed. <laughs> Yo, the nigga stamp jammed up, bro. I could not fucking believe it. I could not believe it, bro. I was like, this is crazy, bro. Like, this was wild, man. Like, wow. <laughs> if you knew, if you knew, that uh, if you knew that 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 you wasn't gonna be able to stand and go toe to toe with Verb started on his bullshit, why would you start with him? <laughs> Five like that. You said yourself, free kill, free kill. Put that nigga in the dirt, smoking on Pookie Loke. Now that nigga put you in a Pookie Loke pack. Why would you even go at him? Not knowing if you see the war path that he's starting, you know this nigga got enough power that all he had to do was just go online and say if I didn't do it, and then that was it. You know what I'm saying? You know niggas, they they the niggas ran off with the rumor. A nigga went online to spell that shit, and boom, it was over with. And you chose to jump on the same internet and say that Verb was begging for some money, like he went, he cooked you bad, stamp. You got 30, and you ain't even battle. I can't even believe that. That nigga was calling you, say, he said you had an apple since the sixth grade. You can't eat a graham cracker house. You can't eat a graham, you can't eat a graham cracker house. That nigga was hoeing you. Bro, that shit is crazy. Yeah, I saw your response, your response. If you not a joker, like if you can't joke, if you can't like keep up with that shit, if you can't go back and forth, don't even go into that lane. You know what I'm saying? If you can't make niggas laugh, if you, if you, if you ain't got it, you ain't got the sauce. You got the noodles, but you ain't got the sauce. You gotta have the sauce to be able to go back and forth with this and nigga like Bird. You ain't had it. You was not equipped. You was not equipped. And he spun on your shit. He spun on you and you wasn't even ready. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to Stamp, man. It, I, I just thought it was wild. I was like, dog, why the fuck would you open yourself up to that level of, of, of embarrassment? He embarrassed the shit out of you. That was bad. I posted a clip just because I thought it was so funny. Shit did like 50,000 views. People was, they was watching that like it was TV. I couldn't believe it. You look crazy, bro. So shout out to you. Uh, leave Verb alone is all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the people that be doing media and shit like that. But I'm going to just tell people in general, don't contact me with nothing nobody got to say. Because this is the thing. A lot of people that do this, they contact you, want to tell you what somebody else said, want to show you some video. I'm telling y'all right now, 
I'm definitely about to start purging people out my phone, blocking people and shit like that, because it's corny. Like it happens, all it happens way too often. About five or six times, I'm getting hit up about what somebody's saying about me who don't do a quarter or a third of the views, subscribers, or don't even niggas that don't even got their own channel. Niggas don't even have their own channel, y'all, and everybody's hitting me up to tell me what they say. So I'm gonna say it like this. I'm giving you a fair warning, whoever, from A to Z, play with me. Send me something that somebody got to say negative and I'm blocking you. That's my energy for 2024. I don't give a fuck who you are. I, we None of us ain't friends anyway. At the end of the day, none of us are really friends anyway. But they do. people do that all the time. They want to send you stuff to egg you on or try to get you out your body and things like that. And for me, it's just not going to work no more. It just will not. You can't. You cannot trick me out of a spot. You know what I mean? It's just not going to work. So fair warning. Send me something that somebody said on some hating shit. Just don't realize when you can't contact me no more, you'll know why. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not doing that. Um, K Shine, last but not least. K Shine. K Shine banned from URL events? Fans on the URL, like any touch, any communication. Rex wanted me to come out in his battle. That'd be fire. I was going to come out on homecoming. But Rex told me that they told them I was banned from the premises. Banned? I can't go on no URL premises, so. Fans on the URL, like. But Sean, you really cannot be mad. I was watching my joy while I'm editing it and uploaded it. You really can't be mad that you're banned because. You told the nigga smack fuck you on your birthday. You know what I'm saying? You really, really can't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? You can't be surprised that you banned. While I think it's some bullshit, you really can't be surprised. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell a nigga fuck you on your birthday. Then show up to the 4th of July barbecue. Golly, bro. <laughs> I'm on the west side of Chicago looking for a bus down to make me put my two arms up. Touchdown. This man is banned. When did he get <laughs> Wait, wait, he ain't on a banned event. You know what I'm saying? He ain't on a banned event. The nigga is banned from events. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. Damn it, shit. Hammer spit. Cans of flip. The nigga shine went from being on a league that throw banned battles to being banned and shit. I'm like, oh. <laughs> He said he wanted to be able to walk out of <laughs> Yo, he said he wanted to be able to be up there with his Harlem brethren for a homecoming. You know what I'm saying? Be able to come out in that moment. You got your gun, I bring mine out. Smacking bees couldn't do it. I'm the only nigga to bring shine out and then shine come out. Ah! Them niggas stole that moment. They said, nope, he can't come in the building. Shine five foot seven on a good day. <laughs> what am I? Damn, bro. Damn, Daniel. He cannot come in the event. You banned. You on the banned list. I'm banned. I'm probably banned. I'm sure I'm banned. I, don't I go where I'm celebrating. So I'm probably banned too. So <laughs> you got banned. I asked him too. I definitely asked. If you think I didn't ask, ask him, did I ask? I said, yo, you banned? He said, facts. Really, what we talking about? This is whole shit, man. Mm -hmm. That shit is crazy. Big. Hey, Shy, you want to cut a crow? <laughs> Do you want to cut a cancer Christmas? You ain't bad from over there. You're not bad from over there. Do you want to cut? Shy, hit me up. Do you, are you going to be in the city? Do you want to come? You want to come talk on pay per view? Do you want to do a pay per view stream with me? Do Shy, Shy, do you want to come host a pay per view stream with me? I got a spot. It's only me and SP. I got a spot. You want to come host this shit? Holler at me. I'll make it happen. Do you want to host this shit? <laughs> I can get him. I'm about to hit that nigga today. Fuck you, me. You ain't banned over here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the media out there. I said, like I told y'all yesterday, OTF and Z post that shit about me lying and shit. They they supported it, but I found out them niggas be banned from some events too. That I was, and we gonna get to that too. That's the, you know what? Now I know why y'all don't like certain people the way y'all don't like certain people because I found out what's really going on and who can't go here and who's banned and shit. I ain't gonna say it, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't as messy as you niggas, but you know where you can't go. Huh? Huh? Josh, did I motherfucking hear something? Oh, all right, nigga, shut up. Cause you know who, yeah, you know what, when you know who, yeah. just keep that between me and you, nigga. We know where you can't go, nigga. <laughs> and I know what was said. Stop, y'all niggas better stop playing, man. Keep me off y'all shit. I don't want no problems with none of y'all, but just know. Just know that I know. You know what I'm saying? Just know that I know where your niggas can't go. You know what I'm saying? 
I wish a nigga tell me where I can't go. Shout out to every single one of y'all. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP. I just think this battle rap shit is funny, man. It's just it's, it's funny all up and down, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it is what it is. But Shine, yeah, Shine is banned from events. He's from your he can't say he told me he can't go. I think it's a highly unfortunate situation how they go from that to this, but it is what it is. Other than that, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, you know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. And if you ask why uh, haters do what they do, go look at their views. Go look at their views of anybody who got some negative shit to say about me. Go check their channel. Go watch the scroll down. Just take a scroll down their page and you'll see exactly why. Scroll down mine, then go scroll down theirs. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no group. I don't need nobody else. That's why when I be addressing a lot of these suckers, I do it by myself. I don't need no friend. I don't need no partner. I don't need no SP. I don't need none of these niggas. I do need SP, that's my brother, I need for all the recaps and all the business shit that we do. But when it comes to this right here, I do it by myself. I do it by myself. I, I don't need I don't need them. And they be in groups of two, three, five. Nigga, you can get 15 of them. They ain't stopping shit over here. I got 50 million views. <laughs> Fuck you niggas gonna do. Ain't that what your daddy surf say? Ain't that what your daddy surf say, nigga? Fuck out of here. Please do not differentiate the two though, the internet from the nigga. Just because I'm on the spaces with you all, like, I know how to use you niggas just how much y'all think y'all using me. You think you using me for blogs and shit like that, nigga? I'm using you too. The fuck? You see how I'm, uh, ain't none of you niggas at my house outside of battle rap, nigga? Ain't none of you niggas eating dinner with me or in my space outside the spaces, nigga? You niggas is promo tools too. The fuck? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna buy you. Nah, I be clowning niggas. But I still speak facts though. I do I'm I, I get more views than you niggas, I'm better than you niggas, it is what it is.